Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In a very good news, Llama.cpp now supports Coin2, VL, 2 billion, 7 billion and even the higher version models quite easily. What it means is that now with the help of Llama.cpp, you can do local LLM inference with minimal setup and state-of-the-art performance on this amazing model from Coin. If you don't know what Llama.cpp is, please go to my channel and search for it and you should be able to find a lot of videos around it. I will be again showing you how to get it installed which is, which is very very quick and easy. In very simple words, Llama.cpp is a plain C, C++ implementation of this um, LLM inference without any dependencies. It supports a lot of quantization, it runs on various hardware, and it has got backend support from various providers, including NVIDIA, AMD, and few others. As far as this amazing model from Quen is concerned, this model is the latest iteration of their Quen vision language models. It includes innovation from the last one year from Quen. It is state of the art, it understands images, videos, and it can operate agents which understand images and videos on your mobiles, robots, and various other technologies. I also have covered this whole model series on the channel. So just search with Quen2VL if you're interested in learning more and if you want to install it in a proper production environment. But for the purpose of this one, we are going to first install this Llama.cpp and then I will be showing you how you can run a local inference with this Llama.cpp with this going to Vision Language Model 2 billion. What it also means is that you can simply port this whole thing to your mobile phone. Now before I move forward, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs so do check them out. Okay so the first step is to install Llama.cpp, go to Llama.cpp then on the right hand side go to its release page then click on this latest release and you will see that this is the latest release which you can check out and they have provided the zip files for almost all of the operating system. So I am running this Ubuntu courtesy masked compute. So I'm just going to uh, either use this one or if you want to, for example, use for Windows for other operating system, you can use those ones. So I'm just going to right click and then I'll just say save link as I'll just save it somewhere on my, maybe I'll go in my home directory and click on save. And it's already done so let me take you to my home directory where you can see that i am running this ubuntu 22.04 and i have this gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram okay so if i do this uh ls ltr you see that second last file is the one i'll just say uh, lcp and then i'm going to move that file there in my LCP directory and then we can simply unzip this and it is going to unzip it and then you can simply go to build and then bin directory and that's all we need to do in order to install this llama.cpp and you have all the llama.cpp server and CLI there will be more than likely using the CLI Anyway, so let me clear the screen. Next up, we need to download the model. In order to download the model, go to Hugging Face and from there, we have some GGUF file. So I'm just going to use this GGUF file from Bartowski. There are a few others if you want to use. These are the quantized version of the model. So let's click on files. If you go down here, the first file we need to download is any quantized version. You can go with Q3, Q4. I'm just maybe I'll just go with this Q8 so I'm going to click on it 
and then you see there is a download button right click and then save it anywhere on your um, operating system so i'm just going to go here i'll say maybe i'll just create a new directory here my models and i am going to save it here in the my models directory and you see that it has already saved it is 1.5 gig of file but we need two files we also need the mmproj file so let's go back here and then if you scroll down you will see that at the very end this is the mmproj file there right click on it save link as and then save it in the same directory let's wait for it to get downloaded and by the way this mmproj file this is the multimodal projection matrix in simple words it aligns the visual and language features um, for the model and mainly it is used in the lava models okay so as you can see that this is being downloaded almost there it is 2.5 gig of size so let's wait for it to get downloaded and both the model files have been downloaded let me quickly show you the size so you need just over 4 gig on your hard disk to get this running okay so now we this is the time to run it let me give you the command so this is all we need to do we are running this newly provide llama coin to vlcli where first we are giving it the models path which is the gguf1 it says that it is using q4 so let me give it the proper path here which i'll change shortly but then we are giving this uh, mmproj file and then i am giving it the prompt p for prompt describe this image and then the image here let me quickly show you the image too so this is just a sample image i'm asking it to describe and there you go you can see that this um, llama coin to vl cli has very nicely read the image with the help of that coin to vl model and it has given us a short sweet description of that image let me again show you the image so if you compare the image with this description it looks really cool to me but it has just very concisely uh, told us about the image and of course you can do the ocr with it you can describe any image and you can also do visual question answering as i said earlier if you want to learn more about this model please search my channel but really good to know that now this lama.cpp which is very lightweight and really well suited for your environments with very low vram or uh, even on a uh, cpu or on edge devices you can run it quite nicely that's it i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think about this new feature of lama.cpp and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching